content is called Nerds on the Run. The people that do not make content on it are called Andy and Peter. Me. And, uh, you know, we're trying to get some stuff out. If this even goes up, it's because the audio sounds halfway passable. So you know we're going to get some I have two projects, though, that I I need to get started. <laughs> what are they? So they're both gaming content, but I want to make... Um, I, I feel like I played uh, Warzone for so long that I'm just like... I, I deleted it. I don't want to play it. I don't want to play Black Ops. Does, Out- does Cold War have a Warzone also, or did, did the other one just continue? You know, it, it like continues, but there's going to be a transfer when the new season starts, and somehow it's going to transfer. So like season season nine or whatever is going to just be in Cold War rather than the old game. You know, I think it's season after season seven. So whatever season eight would have been, I believe it's going to be the season Cold one, War season probably. one or whatever. Okay. So well. I don't know what that's going to look like, but so the two projects are one. I know it's a little of an old school game, but uh, Daisy. Uh, me and my buddies creating some content on there. I found some random people actually that I could create some pretty good stories with. Uh, yeah, venture there. That's cool. Um, and then two. If you just need, if you just need the meat grinder guy that dies at the beginning, I have it on PS4. But I just don't want meat grinding, bro. I, I I feel like. Yeah. I don't know. I I feel like uh, because anybody can learn how to play the game. You just got to be really cautious. And honestly, besides right, right. besides. Uh, learning the mechanics i mean you just gotta you gotta know the really detailed stuff like i don't know like when you're wearing gloves and you're beating up zombies you gotta make sure that you sanitize your gloves or you take them off before you drink water that's half the time i die from sickness you die just from zombie juice on your hands yeah, zombie juice in your, in your system yeah, that's good a level i'd be down to try that's a level of of detail but okay so you're burnt on on the oh. hyper the hyper arcadey, more war zone stuff. You want to go to the more realistic Daisy. Okay, so Daisy, that's one project you want to get out. What else? The other project is getting back into uh, to Minecraft. So, is that, I mean, I remember my first couple of videos I made for games with right. Mike, uh, with Danny. So yeah, I, I'm here for that. I think I, I'm I'm actually at least. I mean, I know it's hard to be bad at Minecraft, but I'm at least I'm at least able to enjoy that. With uh, with even the content that I like, not I didn't create any content today, but what I did today with my one buddy, he, he and I basically we created a whole house. We created uh, a place for farming, a chicken coop, uh, right. and we found uh, a horse and saddle and got all that. We're grinding away, and uh, it's basics, but it's like in just that amount of time we could have created that but knowing like what kind of adventures with the infinite world and the new updates like i'm really looking forward to that new uh cave when, when they do the different cave biomes and stuff yeah cave biomes. You see I, that would get me back in like I, I think caves are my favorite part of the game so if there was like new cave stuff i would be into that for sure and honestly like i i haven't even feel i feel like i haven't really gotten my feet wet and like all the other biomes like the iceberg and all the ice biomes the underwater biomes the different True, i haven't yeah the last time the last time i played really consistently was when they added the like the dark forest the savannah the the high hills or whatever it was called that that was the last i don't know how long ago that was that was probably five six years yeah, ago that was a while ago they have so much more content or just like the different biomes that they have now and e- even the what is it the ender uh the Ender Realm, yeah. The Ender Realm, like they have a different biome in there now. So you that's can, the one where you have to like make the ver- the the portal, like the oh, that's a pool that you jump into, right? Yeah, yeah. You you make it's with, like, with the dra- with the dragon and all that. Well, the dragon is even I heard in a different realm. Well, you know, I was thinking of the dra- uh, the Ender Dragon. You're talking about the, that's right. The Ender Realm is a different thing. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It's, the the it's, end is just the arena you go to where the dragon is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Ender Realm is like the whole. Yeah. Okay. Right. But, you know, so the problem is, we'll, we'll, I think the I think we should do that stuff for fun and, and put it on the channel. But I think there's like seven thousand new Minecraft channels a day, let alone the ones that are already established. So. Oh yeah, like, absolutely. I mean, we'll just we'll just screw around on there and do what we want to do on there and. For fun, I just feel like I could. There's there's an opportunity for two different series of episodes of survival and the world of Daisy and the adventures that go there and just yeah. shenanigans that happen there, and then the combination of. Uh, different shenanigans and different like just random stuff you can do very one's more intense and one's very relaxed uh the different style of uh for whoever sees this you know is <laughs> yeah i yeah. see I'm, 
I think I'm gonna. So okay, so so your projects are Daisy and Minecraft, right? Yeah, yeah. So my my projects are gonna be. I'm so I I re-uploaded an old gear check that I was doing for the marathon a while ago that just I don't I don't know how I just never went up. I guess I I looked on the okay. channel to see if maybe I deleted it, but I had some of the gear that I still use. So I re-uploaded that just to see. So really. Uh, your check and just like different things that you can use for running and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. So I've got, I've got a several yeah. gear check things planned for some updates for some gear for the new cold season, you know, 2020 being the kind of year that it's been, it's a, uh, it's been a different kind of training season. So I'm going to get some, some of my, I, maybe it'll just be two or three episodes, not a ton, but I'm going to do some <laughs> updates and then, um, so that'll be one side project. The other thing is going to be, I don't know how much, uh, how heavy I'm gonna do it because the, the the these seasonal games, like you said, with with Warzone, can really burn out um, pretty easy. But the Fall Guys season three is starting pretty soon. That's all like holiday themed, and yeah. then uh, you know Rocket League. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was I was just saying I feel like I didn't get into the context of season two as much. I played it a few times with you, and it like it it's really a lot more intense and. The dynamic of just skill based just watching even the one what's the what's the map where you have to jump over the walls the uh, wall guys yeah guys just the intensity of wall guys having to move things around i feel like i just got screwed over a lot more in season two than even season one and they do honestly i i think i had there's a trophy for 20 wins or achievement depending on what platform you're on i i think i got 16 of those wins in season one and i think i've gotten two wins in season two so i haven't even gotten the trophy and it's been an entire season so well, yeah season two has been unkind to me but i haven't admittedly played a ton either but you know, with some of the seasonal content, all the ice stuff, all the yeah. penguin stuff, elf stuff, whatever, I'm into that. So I, I'm into that. And actually, for the same reason, I'm I'm kind of hoping, you know, Rocket League Season 2, that would be the other project that I, I would have for seasonal games. Rocket League Season 2 of the new, whatever, the Epic, ever since Epic Games purchased it and they started the season numbering yeah. over. Oh. I've got, I've got. Yeah, so Rocket League season two just started. I don't know why. One of my one of our friends that if we do an episode, you know, we probably won't see these in the order that we're recording them. But right. uh, he made me drink the poison chalice, and I got the the um what do you call it the rocket pass or whatever. You did you know? get the rocket pass. I never even got one before. They've done like twelve of them, fifteen of them, and I haven't done a single one. So I did this one. For for anybody for any new people that aren't aren't used to that game, is does that cost like real money or does it is it like? Yeah, it does. Just like all the battle battle passes type thing, it's that kind of thing. There's a there's a there's a bogus tier for people that do it for free for freeloaders, and then there's the premium tier. Well, and just like Red Dead, just like uh, all of those games. Yeah, yeah. and because I feel like there are certain games like oh, you think about Red Dead Redemption Two on or Red Dead Online, right? Like. These season passes, the fourth the fourth pass just came out, and there's there's an the expansion with the new right. uh, the new content on on that one role for the the bounty hunter role, right? Um, yeah. but like, you can really grind out and earn the things for free, and you could even do that in Call of Duty. I could get the the season the the passes, and they were free, but you had to make sure the season before you had to go all through all hundred all however. Yeah depending on which game it was. And then you could get it for free and enough coins to get the next pass. But it means you have to keep on grinding and grinding. But that's fine. I mean, uh, I feel like y y you give in just a little bit here and there and, and all, all those little... Yeah, I can say I've probably I've probably collectively paid maybe like like thirty five to forty dollars for Rocket League in the five years I've had it, so I, I don't feel I don't feel like it's been a, a money suck. It's yeah. more just uh, I'm vehemently generally against those kinds of battle passes. But my justification for this time, besides some peer pressure, was the the holiday season that they always do. You know, yeah. the last couple seasons for people that are into Rocket League, rather than doing some kind of seasonal currency, they switched to like like dailies and that kind of model. So. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, for the Halloween thing that they did was all, you know, complete a certain number of games as MVP, blah, blah, blah. So so now that it's like a dailies kind of thing, um, I'm going to be playing it during the holidays to get that stuff anyway. So I figured whatever, like if I'm going to be playing it more for, for the next 30 days, like fine, you know. Yeah. And plus there's plenty of good content, especially I feel like if there's anything, I mean, we both got the game free five years ago when it was on the, the pass. So we didn't right. really 
pay, it went the monthly right for the PS, for PS Plus. Yeah, it was it was a, it was experimental actually. It was a, for one of the first games to to launch new on PS Plus. So yeah, and and the reality is we always play the the different seasons anyways. So right, I think yeah. it's once a year where and especially during the holidays of of during the Christmas season and and winter season and stuff like that. For that. That's, like, that's when I tend to play it most, yeah. So yeah, me too. And like between us two and our and our two buddies and and anybody yeah. else who jumps in, like we grind it out. We we get. Uh, I, I tend to fall off near the end, but I mean, if we can have like even episodes, um, of just our of our our experience playing through, right. we can always yeah. get good highlights and stuff like that. Uh, and and yeah, all. Yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll figure out how it looks on the back end, but. I wanna, I wanna at least get some of our, um, some of our, our season, winter for the seasonal, for the season type games, uh, some, some w- winter stuff going on. So, you know, Pete, you have the PS5 and I don't. So anything that's on the fancier side there, that'll probably be coming to your channel. But for special, for, for, for projects just coming up soon, just to see if we can kind of get There's, some, get some motion on in the ocean going here. Some, even some someone, and not that I would necessarily do walkthroughs, but like I'm really tempted. I'm almost done with my second playthrough of The Last of Us Two. Okay. I'm like almost tempted. I know it's like six, seven months, and they just came out with that new trailer of of uh, and spoiler spoiler alert for anybody. Real quick, anybody watching, if you haven't played Last of Us Two, don't listen to the next thirty seconds of what I'm gonna say. And just never come back to the channel if you haven't yes, played it. Uh, so I give you a warning. I was about to have a spoiler alert. So they came out with a uh, a new uh, um, difficulty. No, not a new difficulty, but they came out with kind of uh, a pre a new preview for the Last of Us Two last week uh, for Abby's experience rather than uh, Ellie's experience. So like instead of like hiding it, like there's a whole new commercial out and stuff like that that I really see. supports. So it is out there. Um, I don't know how much they're really pushing it, but it's like a right. new view and a new hype for it. But reality is, um, it's kind of going to be a cool experience. And I, I've watched other people that do playthroughs, but I mean, it's still relevant. I know there's been some leaks when it comes to whatever potential multiplayer, whether that's a standalone or whether it's going to be a big update and stuff like oh, that. Oh, it's going to be, yeah, they already said it's going to be standalone. Last of Us Factions, it's called. That's what I thought. Okay. That's what I yeah. thought. So, yeah, so that's the next time I put anything on the channel related to Last of Us, I'm hoping it's going to be that. But I would love to do like a walkthrough for that. If anything, I kind of want to do a walkthrough for Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, uh, although I heard it's running like garbage, dude. I know. That was the one thing I, I do realize is as I'm playing it on the PS5, I'm doing fine. But in the one to two days I've played it just for the couple hours, uh, it's crashed like five or six times. Yeah, uh, see, I'm, I'm going to be playing it like two years from now when it's all patched up. That's going to be good for me. But you know what? Uh, I was reading some articles. Uh, the same company, obviously, they made Witcher Three. Mm-hmm. Um, when Witcher Three came out, it got Game of the Year edition. It got a Golden Edition, and so did Cyberpunk 2077 already before it even came out. But which is, uh, I think, a little dumb. Whatever. That's stuff. a comment. Yeah, that's a can of worms. Yeah. Yeah, but. Uh, it was buggy in the Witcher Three was buggy in the beginning, and then it it, it patched out. It was fine. Yeah. It, it was actually a really good game. I never finished it, but for the, my friends who I kept on talking to, who followed through all the way through, uh, right, that's a game. And Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Honestly, if I was going to do a walkthrough, I would want to wait a little bit, or I'd want to get whatever content I can get that doesn't have a ton of bugs, or if it does, then whatever. Right. Uh, or maybe, yeah, maybe the content is the bugs, right? Just yeah, weird crap you find in the game. The bugs and everything like that. Yeah, bugs compilation. You can you can find them. But, uh, okay, I so can... in the spirit of a channel update, so maybe some cyberpunk stuff because you have it now, right? Yeah, down the road I do have cyberpunk. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe some cyberpunk stuff on the single player side. Um, Minecraft, um, Daisy. Yeah. Some Rocket League, some Fall Guys, some of the seasonal winter whatever's going on in the winter time here. Yeah. Um, you know, look, you know, look for some gear checks, stuff like that. And then on the TV movie side of thing, I know all the Disney Star Wars stuff just came out. We, we're not going to comment any, on any of that stuff right now because who knows if this audio is even working good. But um, that stuff, they're, they're just they're just pumping out a ton of TV shows that we want to talk about because yeah. a good, I would say more than half of them I'm interested in. But but I'm obviously from my tone, I'm a little leery, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I'm going to we'll, we'll get we'll, we'll dive into that once we have time. Feel like I'm really interested in 
a lot of the ones that are doing crossovers from, especially with the MCU, just like movies that are relating to the MCU that transfer into shows and, and kind of that. Sure, sure. There. So, yeah, I think that'll be really good to really dive into, I mean, the games, obviously the running and the gear and then, um, yeah. and all that awesome. Yeah, this, yeah, this test of, of this format works our, our, our other channel may airy will get a chance to maybe do some of those. Uh, he's, he's much more of a, uh, TV movie buff guy than than the video game space. So yeah, um, we'll 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 see. Well, if this goes well, then we'll you can expect to see him again. Uh, look at looking at some of that stuff with us. So, uh, but anyway, so some stuff on the gaming side, some stuff on the movie TV show side. Uh, nothing going on in the comic book realm right now. A uh, little bit going on in the running sphere. You know, we're all training like Rocky Balboa without the gyms open right now because of the. The situation I, I heard youtube doesn't like this like people talking about it by name so we could call it the situation maybe with some clever editing flash up the guy from jersey shore or something every time we talk about the, the disease but or well, i don't even know if i'm allowed to say that but anyway we don't we're not partners we don't get we don't get money for this so it doesn't matter but yeah. anyway so but uh yeah so look forward to some of that stuff we'll, we'll we'll be bringing you some stuff pretty soon and uh you know stay safe out there wear a wear a mask wear wear whatever you can to stay safe yeah. Until next time. All right. See everybody.